I hope you guys had a really great Valentine's Day. Today's Valentine's Day for me, so I don't know how it's gonna go yet, so I can't really tell you, but I'm anticipating a lot of sex. I'm just like getting over a UTI also, so I'm kind of nervous about that, but like, I mean, it's worth it, right? I just kind of wanted to go through a couple of the things that I have been loving and liking and obsessed with, as the people say. So I think what I'm going to do is break it up into categories. So if you could just give a rap ass about beauty or smell good things or food, I think I'll go ahead and leave like a breakdown of what I talk about when in like the description box. So if you want to jump through to whatever you're actually interested in, then by all means go for it. But I think you're going to miss out on a lot of comedy. I'm so fucking funny. First is this. This is Lady Magic. It is a body spray that I got from a box. One of the like subscription boxes, the Goddess Provisions. So I did get one of those a couple months ago and I've been using this non-stop. The packaging looks like shit because I spilt something all over it. Oh my god, it smells so good. So it's citrus, vanilla, and black pepper. <sighs> Would have thought to put those together, but Holy shit. It's by the brand Element Botanicals, so I don't know what else they offer, but definitely get this. Michael really likes it, so if you like boys, boys might like you if you wear this. Really not a good reason for a boy to like you. You should like you for your personality, not how you smell, not your sex pheromone. But I mean, you do what you gotta do, you know? This is a perfume bottle by Scentbird. I've used their perfumes in the past. This is actually my old one too. It came in black, but I'm actually not really mad about this white one. Essentially what it is, it's a travel size perfume container box thing. And then when you pull it out, you've got your perfume inside. It's a month by month service. And so you get to pick out a different perfume every month and they send you a new vial. Way bigger than like your normal perfume sample. And my cat is about to enter the frame because he's sniffing the camera. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So then when I want to use it, I just twist the vial up and then this little thing pops up and then I just give it a little spray. What I've done with my old vials when I finish them is I just wash them really well and then I fill them up with different scents like jasmine and things so that I can spray them on my armpits when they start to stink. Like when you know you've been sweating in your clothes and then when you wash them it just kind of doesn't really work and then you need to fix it because it smells like a dirty butthole. I mean what butthole isn't dirty though? I went through all of their options for perfumes and I have researched and emailed every single brand to figure out which ones are vegan and cruelty free for you guys. So I'll be linking all of the options down below if that's something you're curious with. It's kind of like a design perfume thing which I didn't really know a lot about but I was super super excited that they had a pretty decent line of options for cruelty free and vegan. I didn't even know that was a thing to be aware of so the more you know. So the one I picked this time was Pinrose and it's called Gilded Fox. It kind of smells like cupcakes. It has been so long since I've bought perfumes. I'm also a lazy piece of shit and I can't even be bothered to go to the store so that's why I really appreciate this is like online. You can take a test to figure out what your scent is and what you might like. So if you do want to check it out, I have a discount code. It is TGS25 for 25% off your first order. I'll have the links and everything in the description box. I wish you guys understand my obsession with candles. Is it embarrassing that as much as I love candles, I hate burning them because I don't want them to run out. I know you can just like repurchase a candle, but I feel like a lot of times I can't find these again. Freaking sucks, you know, when you can't get your favorite candle, like the birthday cake one. Apothecary Lux. I got this one there. It's called the Bee's Knees Soy Candle in Burlap Bag. It almost smells like those little caramels, like the caramel candy mixed with, mm, caramel. <laughs> the next one I have is Walnut Coffee Cake. It is by a in uh, uh, enticing aromas. I picked this one up from Joanne Fabrics. Very odd place to find a candle. It just smells like walnut coffee cake. And if you've never had coffee cake, God bless you because it is one of the greatest things in the entire world. And if you guys know what it is, I would like to see a tutorial on that. I've never made it myself. I've never had it vegan, but I would love to drunkenly experiment with that. And the last one I've really been loving is this red velvet cupcake soy candle. Uh, number 241, maybe that's the number. I think the company is called Signature Soy, actually. Again, it just smells like I've stepped into a bakery and I couldn't be any happier. So first is this scrub called Ocean Salt. I really love this. I've had this for several, several months. It actually looks proper disgusting. Why did I just say that? I'm not British. It looks disgusting. I've had this for so long and so it's kind of like, you know, I think probably past its expiration date. Don't know. If you work at Lush, please let me know. Should I not be things with my face? And it really just feels like it's scrubbing off all of the oils and all of the dirtiness and all the filthiness and all the things that I'm ashamed of in my life. So my skin just feels absolutely amazing afterwards. Like I just want to touch myself and that's probably why I have acne. Next is a face mask called Cup of Coffee. I really cannot tell you guys how much I love this. I mean, it smells like a freaking Starbucks chocolate frappuccino 
cappuccino if that is a thing. If you have any recommendations of moisturizers, please let me know because I'm kind of in the market for a really good one or some like anti-aging shit because I realize I'm getting a ton of wrinkles and I just don't know what to do. I'm like really panicking about it right now. Like under my eyes, it's just like... <sighs> Tea tree, that's also something I've been really loving these last several months. I put it all in my acne spots and I feel like it does a really good job getting rid of pimples that haven't popped up and it does a pretty good job of clearing them up when they've like scabbed over, embarrassingly enough. Just be very careful when you use it. Don't use it 20 million times like I do. It's really gonna dry you out and you're gonna hate yourself because it's just gonna take forever for it to kind of re-moisturize again. Use it sparingly and only when you really need it, but I feel like tea tree has definitely helped my acne a lot when I'm not picking at it so hard and also guilty pleasure i really 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 enjoy watching those like blackhead removal pore strip videos and watching people pop zits is that weird and gross because i don't know i'm like really into it and sometimes i'll go into a huge like downward spiral for an hour on youtube just watching those videos and it's so disgusting but it really helps me not do it myself because i'm getting like my fixation out on somebody else Honestly, everything that I mentioned in my recent haul video is kind of what I've been loving the last month, couple months. I'm just gonna say go see that because I need the views. And also, it's the truth. That's like what I've been digging, so there's no reason for me to like talk about it here. Patent leather, black vinyl, whatever you want to call it, makeup bag. I just got this a couple weeks ago from Forever 21 and I really, really love it. It holds everything. It was like $4 dirt cheap and it's really nicely lined on the inside, super, super soft and thick. I got these about six months ago from Walmart online when I was doing Halloween shopping and stuff. I guess it's not been six months. What is it? February? I was in a really weird mood late last night, so I was like, I need to feel better. And so I started to try and Halloween shop on Walmart just to see if they had anything. Both of these have been restocked and they're on sale now at Walmart. Walmart. They're like five, six bucks, maybe super, super cheap. So the first one is this black, shiny, glossy hand candle. I have yet to get any candles to put inside of it because I'm a lazy piece of shit, but I really love this so much. I actually got two of them and I have them on opposite sides of my couch. I think it looks really badass. It's definitely nice. It's not plastic. It feels like kind of like a heavy metal. What do people do in pottery? Honestly, Walmart has some of the best Halloween stuff. So I got these little bat lights. That's where I got my little ghost lights. It's kind of like a black speckledy really dusty iridescent skull you can put some dried flowers in it or you could do incense maybe i don't know how that works they have the hands and these things in three different colors i think it's black silver color or it's like silver bronze black i think the black ones are the best obviously i am the gothic sprite if you haven't heard of the Beyond Meat Burger, I am freaking obsessed with it. It is so good. I eat it way too many times. I mean, it's not bad for you. It's all plant-based, so it's not that big of a deal, but probably should be eating more raw, fresh vegetables, not vegetables that have been grinded up into a burger. Honestly, like, I'm not the healthiest vegan, but I definitely want to change that. So if you guys have any recipes, blogs, or your things that you've created that are healthy, please let me know so that I can not die. But since we're going down the road of not being healthy, I really, really have been loving the Heidi Ho vegan queso. Every time you go out to a restaurant and you order a vegan queso, I'm just like, this isn't queso. This is like a bean dip. It's just, it never looks yellow. It never tastes cheesy. I'm always really disappointed. Curvy Lane, get your shit together. But this is so good. I've also been loving beer lately. These last couple of months since I've been dating Michael, oftentimes I'll just go to the store, pick up a random beer. I started doing like the rainbow. So we pick a red kind of can, we pick an orange, can a yellow can and so on and so forth you know the rainbow but everything i've had i really liked and i just every time i go out i get a beer and it's kind of weird i always go through weird phases first i'm a vodka girl and then i'm a tequila girl and then i'm a wine girl and then i'm a sober girl and now i'm fucked up again on beer love like the hoppy beer the ipas i really love anything my favorite so far though has been the stone milk ipa it's a very chocolatey coffee thing unfortunately it's seasonal you can only get it kind of around fall times it's a very limited window <sighs> And yeah, that's it for my current favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely check out all the links down below. I've got some Ebates discounts. I've got some other discounts. Whatever I have to help you guys get this shit on the low, I will provide it for you because everyone's trying to save money. A lot of things you have to pay back to the government when you don't have insurance. So I understand your struggle. Trust me. So as always, thanks so much for watching you guys. I really do appreciate all of the support and the comments and the likes that you guys leave me. It really makes me feel good and helps me out a lot. So until next time, let's talk, let's be honest, and let's get drunk.